Well, hello everybody, Laguna back here for some more Demon Souls. We have gotten into the game, and good luck getting me out of it now, because I am hooked. We are just going to kind of pop in, and there we go. Just start off what we were doing. Which, uh, as I remember on this, was we beat Boletaria's 1-1 one, one boss, and now we're getting into the Boletaria 2-1 area. Which I believe is the Archer of Digger King. Uh, city of Miners to maintain the giant tunnel. Long ago, the efforts of the hard headed burrowers allowed Boletarian soldiers to carry out the work. But now, dispossessed of their souls, they have no thoughts of their own and work in silence, tirelessly, without purpose. I'm still kind of curious because it says that the demons, when they absorb human souls, they get more powers. If I were to kill, like, an animal or something like that and I get souls from them, does that mean that animals have a bit of humanity? That's kind of like the, um, ultimate philosophical thing. So I gotta see some guy here. There is something moving over there, actually. Oh, that must be a famed crystal lizard, actually. Let's run. No, you stay. Yeah. Eight hardstone shards. I almost said chunks. That would be cool. Ooh. I'm surprised I didn't model in the bridge underneath. Get oh, I suppose maybe they did, yeah. That got crushed. Got crushed! Um, anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's see what we got going on. There is nothing off to the side. I don't think we were false messages. Okay, I see an item down there, but I'm assuming this is going to take me down. Excellent. Excellent! <laughs> um. Ooh, boy. Boy. Sticky white slime. So that was kind of a useless endeavor. Uh, what do we got over here? Nothing. Yeah, let's do this. Let's turn this on. Here we go. There we go. I forgot to attune my second spell. I just realized. Eh, screw it. We're already here. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. Full moon grass. Did I just like smack the texture off of you? Or is that just the sunlight? I think it's just the sunlight. Crushing battle axe. Oh, the name of that is just... Mm. Like, sometimes you just find the name of an item is just very fitting. Ooh, go top of this. Hopefully this doesn't pull a Mario and go, wee! Which it looks like it should be fine. It'd be interesting if this had... Because, I mean, it is just held on by two of those little bars. So I think this would be a more interesting elevator if when you got on it went, wee! And, like, sort of swinging with it, like, oh, man. It'd be kind of sickening, but... Sickening in a good way. 
you know, like when somebody's being really sweet with you and like it almost gives you diabetes, like that kind of, you know, sickening. It's like, it's one of those like, yeah, it's awesome, but it's just so awesome that it's not awesome. Depending on the person. Just getting that out there. But let's see what we got going on here. So you guys are all busy. Easy backstabs. At least we got that much going on. I believe you'll be next. We'll roll into these. And last. Fuck yeah. Like a boss. Now. Hoi there, you. Hoi there, mighty. These are actually not too bad of enemies, like... of those jars. I don't know why I'm wary of those jars, but I am. Probably because that's the only door I- oh Jesus! Should have worried less about the jars and more about what it was above. Alright, well I guess the jars are nothing then. Oh, there's actually some dogs behind there. <laughs> Bitch, I will fucking destroy you. There we go. God. So, by the way, for those of you who don't know my thing about video games, I fucking hate dogs. I also hate mages that stand in tight fucking corridors like this. There we go. Yeah, I, by the way, like, absolutely abhor dogs in tight doorways. Those are my big two things. Uh, we are going to need to probably equip some new moon grass at this point. Or late, late moon grass. Just because I want to use all my half moon grass. Although I probably should go the other way around. I want to think of it. Fuck you. If you can go through the wall, so should I. Physics should apply both ways. And that is what that did not do. Screw you. Also, actually, I just realized I'm wearing the... Cling ring still, and I'm in the soul form. Let's do the... Providential ring still. Ooh. Yeah, see, there I can go through the wall. Why couldn't I do it before? 
God only knows. Sorry. Sorry. He's just... His balls are up in the air. Get, get your fucking balls down there, you. Now you do... I gotta take a screen of that. That's going on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> that's gotta go on Twitter. Oh boy. Uh, there's nothing else in here. Ooh, a pickaxe. Actually, kind of an ew, a pickaxe moment. I'm not here to mine shit. I'm here to friggin... Woo! Do what I do. Under warrior soul. Cool. Alright. We gotta run for the attack, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't want to roll off this bridge. Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck! Yeah, because of course you'd fucking do that. Of course the bridge would give out underneath of me. Fuck off. <sighs> Swear to God. Yep, that's what I meant. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Christ, what the hell is up with this? I did not have my shield up for that fucking backstab. Two deaths. I did not have my shield up. That should not have fucking did that. That was not fucking fair. But at least we know that these guys don't actually attack. The wolves do. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off! Fucking wolves. Fucking hate dogs. Fuck off! I hate dogs because they have such fast attacks. Alright, you. Fuck you. See, I'm also trying not to kill these guys because they don't really give me much for experience points. Actually, let's do this the easy way. I want to get my souls back. That's the ultimate goal here.
It's really easy to screw up in this game, by the way. Fuck off. Why can't you hit the fucking wall, but I can? Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Fucking physics. Alright, we're gonna kill this asshole. Up top, not down below. Stop staggering yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ, you went down again. Great. Great. Go around the pillar. That's the best way to do this. There. Fuck you, buddy. Those gloves, some stone. Get my souls back because fuck him. It's also weird because when you knock him down, if you physically attack him, apparently it raises the alarm of these guys. Whereas walking up behind him and stabbing them in the asshole, they're like, oh, whatever. So I'm kind of curious to know why that is. If it doesn't alert the guards. You know? But that's neither here nor there. That's, this is nothing. It's just a gate opening, apparently. Gotta make up for lost time. Which admittedly isn't too much time. But it's still lost time. Actually, I think I just noticed something. The ones with the bags look to be the ones who actually have the gear inside. So theoretically, this guy is going to have the items. Stop with the turning roundy stuffs. Stop it. So my goal, at this point, I'm only allowing myself one death per world. Ideally. Sorry, one death per section, not per world. Oh, you have to pick X, nice. We'll leave you guys behind, because you guys are nothing. I actually forgot I left that official in there. Oh well. And if I could turn back time, I would not go back and fight him. I actually hate those... I hate how overpowered magicians are in this game. Which is kind of why I went with the royal. Not gonna lie. Um... Meltstone, cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we got going on. Half moon grass. Not much else up here. I don't trust these at all, so let's uh, do this the easy way. Take care of most of the damage. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's just fuck these crystal lizards up. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. 
Ah, there wasn't a second one. Oh, Meltstone. Elixir. So, by the way, I think it was Dark Souls 2. That game had some pretty weird... Um, mechanics with the monsters. Where... Let's see what's down here. Nope, let's not see what's down here. Uh, the monsters would essentially... The more you kill them, the closer they get to despawning permanently until you're plus one playthrough, or plus two, plus three, whatever you play as. Um, I wonder if they included that mechanic in Demon Souls. Hi. Hi. Down. Lots of hard stone. That's a lot of brightness. A lot of stone shards. Unknown hero soul. Grass and moon grass. Oh, I see an item. It's a really quick little item seeing adventure. No items here. This is probably the. Oh, yeah, this is where the other item was, where I almost wanted to jump off earlier in the. Session. It's so bright. No hero soul. Look at a great view. Actually, I will look at a great view. That is a fine message, but we're going to get rid of that message at the bottom of the screen. Now, just imagine, if you will, playing through a journey, and it's got these graphics instead of the cartoony stuff that I had before. It's just like a, it's a moment of just, oh, buddy, like, fuck yes. Hey, it's Baldwin. I think, no, Baldwin had the scaly right arm. He's got a bracer. Uh, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith? Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. Oh, it's blacked with Ed, okay. Oh, right, because Ed's sharp stones. Upgrade. Definitely want to wrap here. Ah, oh, shit. What does quality do that this one doesn't? Is it the attribute bonus that it changes? Mercury. Fatal. Uh, yeah, so it's the additional effect. Fatal would be bleeding. That makes sense now. We're gonna hold off on that. So now I'm okay with it. Except I don't have the strength required for it. But also the fact that- oh shit, I just used the- fuck. It uses up on my souls too, that's the other part I was trying to avoid. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Yeah, that death that I had, though, I seriously thought that I would have backstabbed that guy. Which would have left me with invisibility, invincibility frames while that official was shooting his fire at me. But the game didn't trigger the backstab because my shield was out too soon. So I didn't get the invincibility frames from it. Then the official got me with his fire and we all saw what happened. And you saw that I wanted to, like, just fucking murder this game. 
I have heard a fucking snake hissing sound. Asshole. Um. Part of me kind of wants to upgrade to the fatal rep here. Whoa. Shard, stone shard. Honestly, though, if I at least have one death per video, that kind of makes it more fun for you guys. Because you get to watch me die. And watching me die makes me swear. And watching me swear... Oh, Jesus. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guess we gotta do it. And back to the top. Slide to the left. Wait, we're already here. Slide to the right. Actually, this one it would be the left and then the left. Here we go. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Somebody died up here somehow. Interesting. Sea mog. Don't see ooh. That does not look promising. Can I snipe? That is the question. We're going to take the easy path. Oh, come on. You asshole. You actual ignorant fucking asshole. somebody running off in the distance and that's not something I enjoy. Hey. Couple of dropped items. Whoop. Thought I'd get a backstab on a fall there. Large sharp stone shards. See, this is where it's at. These are the items that I need to level up my weapons now. Hardstone chonk. Oh, there's another item right up there on the ledge. Excellent. So many items. So little time. But that's okay. I got Parsley Sage Rosemary to make up for it. And all the other terrible puns that I could possibly make. Let's see. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. What the hell, man? What? Why are the wolves up here? I fucking hate wolves. If you can't tell. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Okay, we need to stop using my magic so much. Cool. And that guy's glitching. Oh, never mind. He's, he's good now. He, 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 he good. He good. Well, not good. Just a little better than he was before. Oh, hi, Wolf. Oh, really? You fucking got me from behind, you ho? Jesus. Yeah, by the way, when it comes to these games, I, I probably should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this, but when it comes to Souls games, they are meant to be rage-inducing. They are designed to be brutal and unforgiving. So, if I swear... The, the, the fact that this is a Souls game should be your warning enough. Just getting that out there. So if any of you are like, hey, let's get let's watch this playthrough and see what our our kids think of the game. I made this purpose like purposely and not for kids channel. Just a heads up on that. Um, swearing is going to be prevalent. But again, that's more... So you guys have that expectation going forward that souls equals swearing. I would have laughed if I... <laughs> Clockwise, of course. What does that do? I didn't see any doors that open up. Okay, that makes more sense now, because that lava pit that was down there. That would be cooled off now because of all the water coming in, ideally. Whoa, shit, wrong way. Or right way, wrong angle. That's what she said. Um, this way, and loop around to the left. And now slide to the right. Each mog. Poison resist ring. Cool. Not so bad. Uh, was there anything else down here? No, not really. Cool. Nothing hidden in the, the folds of the folds. Uh, what else we got? Always trust pure luck. Well, that would definitely suit this fucker. Game entirely. Okay. How about this one? You gonna shoot this too? Nice. There we go. All uh, right, now. Can I shoot around this? I can. This is pure luck. This is just straight up abuse of the character model animation. Could you imagine doing that on a boss door? Really? Got some leggings and some grass. Interesting. 
Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Intriguing, to say the least. How do you not take damage from that, you silly fuck? Oh. Didn't even see him up there at first. I was like, what the hell's fallen? Big boulder. Great. All right. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Stone of ephemeral eyes. Bow, 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 bow. But for those of you, by the way, who don't know what I'm referencing, that is a Guitar Hero 2 song called Radium Eyes by Count Zero. Um... Really? 0. 0.4 exceeds the... Okay. Spider Stone Shard. Immobile. The fact that now I'm finding Spider Stone Shards and a whole bunch of spider webs all up in this hizzle. Um... Something tells me I'm going to be fighting a spider. Oh yeah, I'm definitely fighting a spider. Look for treasures. Okay, cool. I'll look for treasures. Spider stone chunk. Of course my carry capacity is too high. Fuck off with that carry capacity. Left. Alright. We'll see about that. Uh, I need... I don't trust the pine resin anymore. Um, I do need some aged spice right now. Eh, maybe I'll... Maybe. Rather than this, let's try the... Sticky white slime. I feel like I will need to equip my weapon with magic. Yep, armor spider. Okay, that's bright already. Did somebody say Queen Goma? Ooh. Man, I'm just trying to get a good fucking screenshot here. Boy. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to play this normally, and then when I get to my recording stage, I'm going to pull it out of the video. Oh, boy. Really, that covered me just by it being there. Mm. Let's see. Let's try some more magic. Okay. 
Cool boy. I don't feel right just cheesing this like this. You know what? Let's let's do this the the harder way. This is probably where I start to die, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! That is a pure case of the floor is lava. Oh, I just realized it's got a little thing right here. You do so well, and then you decide, you know what, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be the one who wants to cheese the game and make this into a... Like, you know, you decide you want to do things the normal way. And then he sets the whole fucking floor on fire. The whole fucking floor. Oh boy. And then you can't fucking run because he's webbed you and then set the floor on fire. Like, you figured the flames would burn the fucking web. But no. We're just gonna mad dash this anyway. Fucking break those in that thing. Jesus Christ. But the other part that bothers me most about this boss... The most one is like there's that big ass claw that's like right at the beginning of the level. Or not beginning, but like at the tunnel, like at the mouth. Why can't I hit that for any damage? Like that's actually a legitimate question. Why can't I hit that for any damage? It makes no sense. It's part of him, it's the claw. Come on. Forgot about him. See, I'm not trying to be... I'm like, this is the thing, by the way. I want to get out. There's a glow on that wall. 
But there's no item. Um, this is the thing I want to get out as well. Beating this boss with a physical weapon. It's not about pride. It's about fairness. This boss is not quite fair. I mean, like, it is fair, technically, because you can use the environment to your advantage. And I get that. But there's a part of me that's like, if I can just cheese if I'm standing in a cave wall, it doesn't feel like I'm actually playing the game. It feels like I'm cheesing the game. So that's my big... And, like, you guys can play the game how you see fit. I don't, I don't have a problem with that at all. I'm not here to harp on you for being, you know... cheap about the boss. But there comes a point in time where... You know, the boss itself, like... So there's a level of unfairness to it, if that makes sense. Fuck off! Although, in all fairness as well, for myself, I probably should have equipped the uh, the magic damage boon. That probably would have helped me kill him when he had that sliver left. It probably would have offset the difference. You know, once I do play this through this game, though, I am going to go through once more and do a Zero Deaths Challenge, just to be that guy. Just because I want to see if I can do it, that's all. Really, like, this is the other thing that's unfair. Like, how can he hit me with a fireball all the way down the tunnel... But my spell disappears halfway toward him. That's the other... Unfairness about this particular boss. So... Okay, come on! Walking into a web that's just... There shouldn't entangle my character. Great. No mana left. Oh, actually, we do have mana left. Come on. I'm... I still can't do it. I... I can't get the last hit as a cheese hit. I just... I can't bring myself to do it. Fucking use your goddamn healing, you piece of shit. There we go. Yeah, so that big claw that was, like, standing right there. I don't know why it wouldn't deal damage to him when I was hitting it. Like, there's no reason why it shouldn't have. 
And that was kind of my other thing, is I used up some of my stamina trying to attack it from here. And it just wouldn't connect the hit. And that's kind of the other big issue that I had with this boss. Which, I mean, yeah, I guess if it's an armor spider... Kind of makes sense. Only kind of. Ooh, I see a crystal lizard. Yeah, that did like nothing. Woo! Send to storage. Pure spider stone, okay. To the Nexus. <sighs> that was a fucking hoot. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Terrible hoot, but still a hoot. Uh, right. Hmm. Actually, there's some things I probably won't want to keep in my inventory, uh, such as bastard sword. Probably too heavy. Probably too handed. Mail breaker. My rapier is better. Crushing battle axe. It's probably heavy as shit. Let's take a look. Two point five. Eh, it's not too heavy actually, but we'll still do it. Two pickaxes. Don't need them. Great club. As much as blunt damage is fun, no. Pierce. Interesting enough, the uh, the reduction percentage is a lot higher on a Chris than it is on a Rapier, whereas the Rapier has the handle to protect your hand, and the Chris does not. That's 98, that's... Oh. Interesting. That's got an attribute bonus for magical and physical attack once I hit 16 magic. Like it's an 82. I might actually take a look at that. I can forge weapons. When I put the pressure on myself, by the way, to do um, a one death per run, I think I jinx myself on that. If I go through and I'm not intending to, to not die, I do a lot better than when I go in intending to live. So I guess that was my fault for jinxing myself as well. Now, the other thing I forgot to do... Are you begging for a No, I don't want to do that. Because I could have equipped this water veil for fire resist. Too late now. Yeah, yeah. Careful how you use it. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Yes, I do. Then touch the demon inside me. Nope. Not gonna touch that one. That seems like a good mix. My item burden goes up by 10. Not bad. Magic power goes up. Miracle power doesn't. Cause, oh yeah, because that's faith. MP goes up. All my defenses go up. That actually sounds fair. Uh, let's do it. Help the world be mended. 
Thanks. I also didn't expect myself to die in that world. That's like the easiest beginning world there is, and I fucking died. Uh, so that was great. I think that's all we can do for now. Everything's repaired, everything's all good. My equip burden is low. My item burden is probably hella worse. Yeah, 69 out of 100. Well, let's buy some Crescent Moon Group. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's, we don't, we'll find it later. Uh, let's just end this for now, and we'll uh, we'll come back to this an another time. Demon Souls. Booyah. So anyway, um, not too much I can really say on this one. Obviously, those officials watch your CYA. Cover your ass. It's weird because you don't expect them to bounce back off the ledge. And when they do and you fall, it just everyone aggros around. So there's a lot of like these weird little intricacies in the game that will get you killed. It makes you swear. Even probably if you're 10 years old, this is where you learn to swear. Uh, wolves, you know that about me now. I fucking hate wolves. So... It's my shtick. But anyway, we are going to end this for now. But as always, if you have any other recommendations, I am more than happy to oblige. I have a couple of games on the back burner. Uh, I've been working on Diablo 3 just for the sole purpose of getting my trophies on the PS3. Probably play it on the PS4 a little bit for stream. Um, there's not too much else I can really say. But uh, thanks for tuning in, and happy gaming as always. You know the drill. Laguna Matara. I need to stop saying that. It's become a thing, and it needs to stop. <laughs>